Hickok 45 with some kind of M4. Let's see what it shoots like. Hey, nice. <laughs> Didn't take long to empty it, did it? Yes, the Panzer Arms M4. Thought we'd try it out, requested from Bud's, uh, saw Bud's gun shop had them, and I have an M4. And so, uh, it'd be interesting, I like the M4. So, uh, got one on loan, try it out, send it back. So, uh, yeah, we appreciate Bud's gun shop uh, lending us this. And I'm gonna shoot some more when I get more ammo in it. I'm over here and take a gander look at it. It's, uh, yeah, everybody knows the M4. And so this one is a Turkish version, you know, made by Panzer Arms. And uh, so far, the thing just shoots. We've had no problems with it. Uh, I know that seems like a pessimistic look, doesn't it? When you say, well, I have any problems so far. Wow, that's nice. Would you expect problems? Well, I don't know. You know, the M4 is, has a reputation for, uh, for obviously, you know, reliability and just being a great, a great shotgun. And, uh, you know, when you start copying things, cloning them, who knows what could happen, right? And this really is a clone. I mean, I, there may be some parts that don't interchange. I, I don't, I, 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 but boy, when you take them apart, they just, the parts down to the last detail seem to be the same, except this is a civilian version, of course. You know, you'd have the five round mag and you got this fixed stock. I think somebody's making maybe some adjustable stocks or maybe a little funky, but we're, I, I, do, I saw a little bit on those. Uh, since I have a, a real M4, Mr. Snob here, right? Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I just don't know. Uh, I don't know. You know, do your research, but uh, the stock feels fine. It's got the adjustable comb on and everything. And I did put a uh, red dot on my Romeo 5. I thought, uh, yeah, I'll just do that, do that. I put it on right when I got it, really, because I have a problem, a little problem, with the, uh, the M4 uh, sights, the ghost ring sights. And I normally love ghost ring sights. Uh, I, I shoot them better on every gun I have that has ghost ring sights, except the M4 ghost ring sights. I, I don't know, something about the sight picture and the two dots back here, uh, I, I don't like them as well, for one thing. But now, I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't know if I would put a red dot on mine or not. I took the rail off of mine to keep it more streamlined and sleek. So yeah, we appreciate this ammo too, not just Bud's Gun Shop, but the ammo uh, we're sending through this from Federal Premium. Now you see it on the table, lots of it. And if we need to do any gunsmithing, maybe we can call SDI.edu, the Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're interested in maybe becoming a gunsmith, get yourself on the road. You can take classes there online and you can use your GI Bill and uh, you know, get headed down that road. Uh, really great outfit. We appreciate their support. All right, what should I shoot? Someone put a garbage can on the range. Isn't that terrible? Yeah, it really is. It really is. Somebody put an old uh, soap powder thing. In. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, let's smoke that pot right there. <laughs> oh, here's another big one to smoke. Oh man, a jug. <laughs> this tends to eliminate things, doesn't it? So yeah, you see you've got the civilian. Uh, yeah, we reviewed a, uh, if you want to call what we do reviewing. We shot, let's put it that way, on video, a uh, civilian version of the Benelli M4 that had the, you know, the five round magazine and a fixed stock. Oh, uh, it's been several years back before I, uh, I got my you know, regular one. My real one, as I call it. Uh, you want, we just go ahead with a slug, you want to? My shoulder doesn't need a break. And uh, so, like I say, I, it, it's, it, and it's the same. I took it apart, and I'll do that in this video. We may, we may do another video with it and, and take it apart a little bit or something. But, uh, you know, the piston system and everything, I was really expecting when I got it, yeah, okay, M4 clone. Uh, I thought, okay, we'll see how close this is and what it's, how it's similar, different, you know. And uh, I didn't expect it to be like a, and it really like an M4. I don't know what I, I should have. Uh, the patents have run out on the M4s, I understand. And so you can copy it, 
but still a lot of things you can copy but can you afford to do it and sell it for five hundred dollars that's the question right or whatever the factory sells them for but uh because yeah the right at least as i'm speaking they're five hundred dollars you know uh, on the uh, you know on the market as low as 500 okay maybe lower sometime i don't know if someone had a big sale or something so I, but I, I i was surprised i i really can't tell uh, the difference other than you know at least from here forward i i don't really see a difference from here rearward of course you know, the stock is you know you could say it's a little funky it looks like it might have been uh, stamped out and sold at Walmart or something, you know, but that doesn't mean lots of polymer kind of looks that way, uh, but yet it's really, really tough. People thought Glocks were plastic junk, you know, when they came out. Some of you still think that, but, uh, but they're, you know, they're still cranking after all these years. So what did I put in? Slugs, didn't I? Yeah, I should have been paying attention to myself instead of talking to you all. Well, let's let, it, let the gong know we're here. My sight hadn't been knocked off. <laughs> nice. Look at that red square plate. Boom. How about that uh, buffalo? And looks like a one ounce slug to let folks know you're around. How about a two liter right here? <laughs> that woke that up, didn't it? Oh man. I see a bowling pin. Do you ever have a bad uh, day at the bowling alley and you just like to shoot a bowling pin? Well, it doesn't get much better than putting a one ounce slug on one like that one right there. And just knocking the egg off. It went to the creek. <laughs> we got another round. <laughs> yeah, I suggest you get some bowling pins put in your backyard and when you have a bad uh, what do you call a game, you know, at the, at the, at the bowling alley, come home, get your 12 gauge out and just have at it. How about some, uh, buckshot, number four buck, let's shoot a little bit of that. So, you know, uh, if you have one of these, uh, let me know what you think of it and what your experience has been. I don't see a lot of battle, you know, online really. Uh, but, uh, so far, so good with this one. We also want to thank silencercentral.com for their support on the channel. Check them out if you're interested in a suppressor, and they'll help you choose and you know walk you through the process and uh, ship it to your door when you're uh, approved. Very, very neat outfit. They're great people, too. Great people. We know a lot of them. We met them, and uh, you know, it's always fun. And, and you all tell me that you're dealing with them and that they're great folks. Uh, it's always good to hear that people that you uh, you know work with so uh check them out silence for central and what i put in number four there i go talking to you all again forgetting what i'm doing i wanted to get some bigger holes in some things like that garbage can okay number four buck <laughs> okay what did it do there stayed back let me get the bolt Okay, it did not put one in the carrier. All right, let's see, it's pretty hot stuff. I don't know if that makes a difference. Let's hit that two liter right there. <laughs> I don't guess I, you know, that one did knock me back. I wasn't really standing well. I don't know if there's such a thing as, it wouldn't be limp wristing, limp shouldering. Maybe I limp shouldered that round. We'll keep an eye on that. Let's shoot the target here. Paper target. All right. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Mr. Cowboy, you need some number four buck. <laughs> okay, did fine. I might have limp shouldered it. We'll see. We'll shoot some more of that. We're not going to keep you too long. Uh, I just thought you might want to be made aware of this. I was curious because I have an M4 and I've shot the civilian model. I own the whatever they call it the military police model uh to me it's a civilian a civilian model the way they all should be right they're perfectly legal for anybody uh well if you're in a free state that is and uh since i haven't experienced with the m4 
and yeah combat you know, theaters of war no the only theater of war i've fought in is the theater of the two liters right here and uh, but i do have some experience with it so yeah if someone says they have uh, copied the m4 well, let's see if you've copied it let's see if i think you've copied it i'll be the judge of that how's that for arrogance <laughs> Uh, oh, what's that? That slows too, I think. Uh, yeah, if I could read, I'd know that. There's some more buckshot. Yeah, number four buckshot. A few more of those. If, um, these are good, I think, defensive rounds. I, I use these sometimes in all of my defensive engagements, right? Don't you like the way people talk about the defensive uh, handgun they carry? So, yeah, it's worked for me for 20 years. Yeah, I've never had to use it, but it's worked for me for 20 years. So, uh, all right, straighten up here, shoot something. Here yeah, it might be interesting, I don't know, just for the heck of it, shoot some four on some other things here. Did that ram, I didn't shoot that ram. What happened to him? I'm going to, I'm going to shoot the tombstone since it's not been hit. Yeah. I just, uh, uh, what is that? That's uh, about, uh, uh, 20 yards, not quite, 20 yards, 25, whatever. Um, I, I'm continually amazed at how like a buckshot, a shotgun, because we are constantly warning you all, advising you all that don't think you've got a a, 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 a shotgun. Just because you have a shotgun doesn't mean if you shoot at the wall from inside the living room, you're gonna hit the whole wall. You know, that's one of the myths about shotguns. People think they just spread out. They've seen so many Westerns or so many movies. And uh, if, if you've seen any shotgun videos, all of us talk about that and, and all the experts, you know, uh, legitimately, you know, so that basically within a room, you're almost shooting a rifle. They're only gonna spread out about that much usually. This is a really big room. Uh, but I'm always impressed at distances like this, how much of it does stay together at those kinds of ranges, you know. Uh, let me shoot one of those plates hanging down there. Yeah, you really get a lot of buckshot at that distance. Again, uh, let's talk about across the bedroom. Let's say, uh, you know, you're not going to be uh, shooting from the wall. You're going to be standing, you know, could be, what, 10 feet or less. So let's shoot the, let's shoot the Buzz. Since we got this from Buzz, let's shoot the Buzz logo. Oh, I got more, yeah, okay. Okay, well that spread a little more than I thought. But you're talking about a, a big, like a softball, you know, size. So there you go, you can miss, that's the point. You know, I've got another round or two here. Let's shoot the bottom of that trash can. It has not been shot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, uh, the stock looks a little funky compared, you know, with the, the real M4. Uh, because there's not much you can do with it other than the raise the right. You know, in the real M4, you've got this. You push the button over here, turn it, and oh, yeah, and then you can move it in or out. It, it's a little weird and awkward in some ways, but it it is works great. It's really stable. Uh, you know, just a piece of quality, no doubt about it. And you don't have any of that with this. So, you know, what do you want for 500? <laughs> But you got there, I, and I'm not sure what all the options are in terms of stocks. I know with shotguns, sometimes you'd be surprised what is available. And I guess if you could even find a, an M4 Benelli stock like that, I guess it would go on here, assuming. And uh, maybe uh, other uh, uh, options or choices uh, you could put on. Maybe a, I like. I, I have actually replaced on my well, my uh, Benelli Super 90. I put, it had a really cool pistol grip and stock and everything and I just on a defensive shotgun generally don't even like a pistol grip and I put a regular straight stock like you might find on a Mossberg 500 on it and still have it on there as you've noticed probably but but you have some other options and uh, you know it's got a color colorful high-vis follower on the uh, the magazine spring there and you can see it looks like an M4 doesn't it? and uh, like I say the pistons and everything we'll take it apart in another video and show you in, in detail but uh, you know I, I'll shoot one more time well you should just shoot some buckshots here it's it really uh, seems to be a good shotgun we have not had 
Why did I put my knife away? We have not had a malfunction yet. Well, no, we did. We just had one. I forgot. <laughs> Whatever that was. It might have been me. Or it might not have been. Uh, we'll be shooting it some more. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't, who knows? It, uh, see what happened. The round was, looked like it was headed out of the uh, magazine and like it got hung up or stopped and I don't know if that would happen from weak shouldering <laughs> or what you know what I mean by weak shouldering I mean that's not a firearms world term I'm sure or phrase but uh, you know when, when a gun is an automatic or semi-automatic it's relying on stability to work right it's like a handgun and one reason a lot of people have malfunctions with handguns they're limp wristing them they're not putting enough force behind it and uh, when I brought that up, I might have, because I know I fell back a little bit, uh, I think. Uh, and, you know, it'd be kind of like if I just, I wouldn't want to do it. It might hurt me. <laughs> but if I just held this thing very relaxed and pulled the trigger, uh, it's not got any stability back here. You know, it, it might do, it would do something weird like that. But I don't know if it would do that. I'm just full of information, aren't I? Gosh, I never charge y'all for all this little tidbit so what did I put in there I got to talk it again oh yeah bird shot so let's be uh generous and just spread the love around how's that <laughs> oh yeah I forget I don't have seven or eight rounds but uh so anyway it seems to work it's supposed to work with three inch magnums and slugs and bird shot and, and all of that and that's what we were firing and it's really not had a, a lot of break-in shot it uh, no I didn't say I haven't broken in on anybody with it it's not uh, had a lot of break-in period and it, I haven't fired at 500 rounds um, so it's really not broken in uh, and with my Benelli my real AM4 my Benelli it would not fire the, what I was just shooting okay the bird shot reliably it would hang up uh, I don't know, but it, it didn't take many rounds. I think probably a hundred. Yeah, it was just a few boxes and it started feeding everything just fine. I was glad to see that, but at first it didn't want to. And this thing uh, has, has handled the bird shot from, from day one. Uh, sure has. So, and, and everything I fired except again that one uh, weird thing we just saw, whatever that was. Well, well, before I let you go, let me fire one more mag of those. Okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit curious. Uh, four, that was number, yeah, number four buckshot. Okay, it'll take long. You won't be late for dinner. Just keep the pizza in the oven, you'll be good. I'm fire five of these. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's just wear out that old cowboy some more. He's got a smirk on his face. <laughs> yeah okay you just got to test things you know especially if there's something you have an issue with if you have a magazine on a handgun or something that hangs up you know boy I mark them usually and and then I shoot that mag a fair amount and it takes a fair amount before I trust it again same with a firearm so anyway uh, we fired some pretty warm stuff and some uh, fairly light stuff seems to do okay again that's my Romeo 5 this as it comes, it, you know, it's just, you know, the sights are on it. And, uh, uh, you know, it's what you see. Uh, so my impression is it's a pretty accurate clone other than the stock. Very accurate clone. It looks like, you know, as I said, the patents ran out on the M4. And so they took, I guess, the exact designs, the patents and the, the measurements and everything. And I, I don't see any, anything different, really. And so, unless they're using like really inferior materials or something somewhere, yeah, you know, it should be a pretty good gun that would would last. I would think. I mean, the the uh, Benelli M4 has an alloy uh, receiver already, as, as this appears to, and the barrel, you know, shotgun barrel should be fine. So, anyway, there you go. The Panzer uh, Arms M4. Uh, yeah. let me know if you have experience with one you know anybody who does a friend or something you've shot it what's been your experience 
uh, because this thing has this crank really well. I'm pretty impressed for 500 bucks. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms, you can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.